welcome back my gardening friends right let's have a look around for the uh, jobs uh, for February on my allotments cheers uh, good morning mr. Robin um, one of the jobs we've had to move from January to February is to get this piece of uh, uh, roofing polycarbonate done and we'll uh, get that positioned up there hopefully to stop uh, the rain getting in that's a westerly direction so it's not always a, a major issue um, I've got three bags of leaves left now so I should be able to get these uh, stacked up uh, very soon and I've noticed I've got a bulge so I need to put uh, a piece of uh, something in uh, uh, right the screws not there or the, perhaps the screws broke um, another job I do want to get done is the uh, perennial weeds uh, that's an 18 month experiment so I want to see whether we can kill uh, the weeds by uh, drowning it's opened all this space up now so I can start bringing the compost over that we find but uh, we've still got uh, these three big uh, dumpy bags builder sacks full of leaves and hopefully we can get them in there and that will give me a nice clear run then it's always awkward over the uh, the fall but uh, the leaves do compost down and it's just a little bit of patience every day I'm up here now I do come and have a look at the uh, the snow drops because they uh, they won't uh, last forever but they're so nice to see if I get a chance I would like to get uh, all this green off uh, the greenhouse while it's still damp and horrible uh, that'll uh, brighten this up uh, a lot more and as you can see there we've got a heavy frost but no, other than that nothing else to do in here everything uh, is good no I'm not digging today my friend the Robin as soon as the uh, ground uh, thaws out I'm going to get uh, that took out it's done no good and I'm going to get my mint uh, put into here uh, that should contain that uh, this area here uh, it'll be fine for that I may as well make use of that and uh, I've been just keeping an eye on the uh, the pond but because of all this area here uh, it does stop it from um, freezing I haven't seen the uh, fish about for a while uh, but they may be deep down the bottom uh, where it may be a bit warmer uh, another job I'd like to do in February is get this uh, block in 14 comfrey planted in here as soon as it thaws out it's died back now so I can just get it out of the bucket place in there and fill this uh, with whatever we've got uh, to help it uh, along its way now as you know rhubarb does start to show itself and at the moment it's getting no light which means it'll uh, it, it'll end up blanching it it'll draw it up and uh, it won't do it any good so I do need to get all these pallets cut up and uh, all the the uh, planks saved for my uh, for the sacrificial planks on the uh, raised beds and uh, these pieces of wood here uh, oh, it's froze but those bits of wood here will help create a boundary it's all temporary i'm intending on getting uh, some scaffold planks so uh, all these beds uh, well some of these beds will be uh, have borders on them make it a lot neater as you see it's quite raised up at the moment so we can just level it out a bit up against the the wood and i'm going to need to create this cage here as well because the uh, giant cabbages are getting rather large I'll clear away all the uh, guttering that we've had given me I need to get this rolled up this wood in the dry or somewhere out the way probably save those bits and another job for February will be uh, clearing up uh, and sorting all this uh, found compost some of it's in bags and some of it we just uh, came loose 
nice little bit of cocoa koi and the other bag is got similar but it's got some uh, perlite in great addition and uh, one or two people have been commenting that they've uh, actually found some as long as you don't come onto my territory don't get pinching mine well, this is all done nicely now and another job will be feeding them with my uh, liquid nitrogen plant food and I've got plenty of nettle so I should be doing it using nettle because the manure runoff I'm saving that because I haven't been able to go on a manure run because of the uh, travel uh, restrictions due to the uh, pandemic so we'll move on to uh, plot three this is plot one trouble at doing a tour when it's cold uh, the old fingers get a little bit uh, cool but a good chance to uh, have another sip of coffee with fresh milk I normally use the sachets but they get a little bit expensive so I'm uh, making my own if I stack it reasonably well uh, it draws up there nicely right let's continue and one of the jobs we can do uh, in February is to uh, cut the uh, asparagus back and we can also do that to the asparagus on uh, plot one it's hidden amongst all those barrels uh, getting a little bit chaotic at the moment but uh, I'll get in there and cut that asparagus back as well it's even still got some berries on so really it's not quite ready yet to cut back but we'll get it done I'm keeping a close eye on the uh, claret uh, sprouting uh, broccoli and it's always worth being uh, vigilant uh, looks like the pigeons have uh, landed here away from the net so we know the net works so the net there is just to stop the uh, pigeons flying in so i need to uh, pull that one back up to that stake there uh, that may stop them but uh, pigeons can be an issue at this time of the year when it's so so cold so one of the main jobs uh, you probably may not be able to see it properly but i've cut some of the holly down up to about there all that needs cutting back so I can take these uh, boards out here that are running along the back and uh, get them along here and as you can see it's just uh, all overgrown and uh, it's just a bit awkward here uh, that's PP corner we don't waste nothing uh, on our allotment the urine goes uh, as an activator for the wood chips to break them down so need to get all this down as you can see whoa it's uh, it's well overgrown and uh, burning season will be up um, I think it's the end of February I've got stuff stacked everywhere but these will end up being the windows and side panels uh, for the uh, polytunnel build so they can stay there for now but it'd be nice to open all this up again it's just uh, getting a little bit uh, untidy and hopefully by the end of February uh, I want all this base in and uh, we'll uh, we'll do another video on that then I've managed to source uh, the laths that will run along here to give me the gap for the double skin and it's surprising how low this end was I've had to build it up um, quite a lot and what I've done uh, I've used the existing soil uh, wood chips but I've mixed some cement in so I've done a little bit of uh, soil stabilization and uh, we'll get this row of curbs in and then we can make sure we're the right width and length cut these off and uh, make a little bit more progress yes I've bought some compost um, I'm favoring uh, this at the moment you get less uh, liters but uh, I find it uh, a, a better mix for when I do do my uh, uh, sewing etc but I need to sieve it and I need to get all these uh, gutters done for the uh, long roots and uh, any surplus polycarbonate 
I want to create a little greenhouse at the top where they will be growing and uh, the, the parsnips that I've planted uh, in the autumn are still uh, doing okay so uh, we sowed them on the, the 20th of the 9th 2020 all of these have had the um, crowbar put in so they'll grow exactly the same as my normal parsnips they've been protected by uh, the uh, the coal frames so if these are growing this well I might start my uh, long parsnips off up there uh, this year ready for the following uh, year's show not sure whether we've got any shows this year or not but uh, does it matter still harvesting potatoes from that last row this is next year's parsnip bed and this is where my parsnips are at the moment we harvest those uh, as and when uh, even though uh, it has been cold I do start still like to get down uh, to the allotment and I found this fire really relaxing because I've got to chop the wood and uh, it's certainly a nice way to uh, brew a cuppa a microphone uh, if this crackles then my voice disappears it picks up the loudest noise it's quite a good microphone that I've got uh, attached there so it's going to be the same when I chop the wood These are all just off cuts and what I try and do is get the thick bits now and then some smaller bits. To start the fire. Especially ones with uh, decent grain on them. But, uh, just warming up, sitting here, chopping a few sticks. Move that away from there, it's a bit warm now. But definitely a very hungry fire, but uh, a real good way of uh, using the off cuts of wood that I keep picking up. But uh, if you are still with me, please uh, hit that uh, like uh, or dislike for the interaction. Uh, I do really appreciate it. And uh, many thanks to uh, all the viewers. Most of them non-subscribers. That's why I'm, I'm not going on too much about subscribers now. Because basically, people just come and go as they please. I've got my regular 600 to 1,000 that... Uh, visit me at my normal time slots and I do appreciate the comments and uh, don't forget while you're watching my videos if I'm getting a bit boring just have a look through the comments and uh, there's quite a few good creators who make comments on my channel so uh, don't be shy guys have a look at their channel, see if it interests you, and support other creators uh, like they support me. So I'm going to uh, crack on with a few jobs today, so I'll be recording another video today that will get shown at some time. But some of the important things are to make sure I feed my strawberries and raspberries uh, with the uh, liquid uh, nitrogen food and nettle tea and get that area tidied up then and then it won't be long before I'm making me a homemade compost for the uh, potatoes etc and we'll see how much of the polytunnel we can get done but I'll just set myself a target just to get that base right and then I'll get that frame moved out of the way and we'll, uh, we'll crack on with that Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Ta for now.
and many thanks for uh, over one and a half million views really appreciate it